Hi, I'm Josh Irving, and welcome to another DBA examination where we're going to take a look at the most recently announced DBX and determine who would win if you were to actually research it. So, we actually missed one of them, but that is kind of the magic of us taking a look at something that the episode itself doesn't, which is who would actually win. Um, so we missed Bakugo versus Yang, which uh, was one that I meant to get to, but unfortunately I was a little bit busy uh, this week, so we can just tackle that as part of this one as well. Um, so for Yang versus Bakugo, the answer right now... Now, keep in mind that these are two very fluid characters in time right now. Um, both Ruby and My Hero Academia are both ongoing. Uh, I don't think either one really is showing signs of nearing the end of its series. So what both characters are going to end up as isn't necessarily going to be indicated uh, right now. Um, but as it stands, the movie for My Hero Academia put it into Bakugo's favor. I believe before that, Yang would have won, but there was some things that happened in the movie, uh, which, if I recall, has been stated to be canon, um, that basically put Bakugo just leagues beyond what Yang is capable of. Um, <clears throat> because I think Yang, like, still the best speed feed that they have is still scaling to Mercury, um, which is lightning timing, uh, Mach, I think 300? Something, 300, 400. Um, both Emerald and Mercury were dodging lightning, um, and that's about what it came out to. But uh, there were feats in the movie with uh, lightning as well that Bakugo is both faster and significantly stronger. Um, but, but as I said, that can very easily change. Uh, we are actually already dealing with, in Ruby, things that are beyond what was shown in the movie for the feat. Um, in particular, the, uh, the relics... Relics, right? Yeah, the relics being used to lift uh, Atlas above Mantle. Um, that in itself is a feat that is actually higher than that. So if, um, if say, the Team Ruby people, uh, characters fight people empowered by the relics, or they themselves get empowered by the relics, um, then you could make a case for them being stronger. But as I said, that is not the case yet. Um, so reasonably speaking, right now, Bakugo is currently the winner. Uh, which leads us to the next one, which is the R-Wing from Star Fox versus the uh, X-Wing Starfighter from Star Wars. Um, these are two pretty iconic um, space dogfighting ships. I'm curious if there's any particularly more popular ones. I probably wouldn't say so. Um, though in this case there is a little bit of a question, well, ultimately it doesn't matter because, l let me get into it. So basically there is a questionable, debatable feat in Star Fox that if you take it at face value, it's just game right there. So that feat is that in Star Fox Adventures, uh, the Krizoa spirits are what are holding the planet of Saria together. Um, and if Saria explodes, it will do so with enough force to wipe out the Lilat system. That is quite literally one of the first things Peppy says in the game. So taken at face value, that means that the Krizoa spirits, I believe there's like six of them or something. Um, <clears throat> the Krizoa spirits are pretty strong, definitely stronger than the uh, X-Wing would be able to do anything about. In fact, even just one Krizoa spirit holding a continent down is already enough to completely blow, p blow past the uh, uh, X-Wing. So, like, the X-Wing's strongest feat is um, basically its photon torpedoes are e equal to the ones used by a vessel that basically destroyed, like, a mountain-sized town, uh, came up to about mountain level, um, which is pretty far shy of the multi-continent <laughs> feet from the Krizoa spirits. Weird how adventures is what's actually getting the winds here. 
Um, in terms of speed, um, the R-Wing has flown out of a black hole um, and can fly to different planets in the Lilat system. It's unclear how fast it's going during these parts, um, <coughs> but it does seem to, at the very least, be probably minutes. I wouldn't say that it would be days or anything between their missions, considering the like urgency of these missions. Um, and then the uh, the X-wing starfighter has a few. Well, basically. Uh, they can cover like a thousand, several thousand light years in a single hour. Um, I don't think that's as good as the flying out of a black hole feat. Um, so we basically do have the situation in which the R wing takes both speed and power. Um, because the with the Krizawa spirits, they were actually all absorbed by Andros. Uh, and then the R-Wing just fights it, so you have all of the Krizoa Spirit's power just in one person, and he just smacks the shit out of the ship, and it's fine. So, um, yeah, I really don't see the, any way that the X-Wing would be able to overcome that, but Star Wars is a pretty damn popular series, so I kind of think that it's going to win the vote. Um, speaking of the vote, the Yang versus Bakugo vote was literally, like, four votes apart with like a couple like over t I think it was like 13,000 votes that's actually crazy that it was that close I would have actually assumed that Bakugo would have stomped the vote just because of the negative perception surrounding Yang with death battle stuff um, but as for this one I think the X-Wing Starfighter is going to win the vote but I am personally voting for the R-Wing uh, so yeah, and I will see you guys for the next and final DBX for this season, uh, and then we will be getting Beerus versus Sailor Galaxia. Um, I do intend to do my video at least somewhat timely fashion for that, because I have thoughts on it, and I, and I do want to just make sure that I do get a video out in a decently timely fashion for that. So I will see you guys then. Have yourselves a good one.